More than 34 years of public service and 13 years as chief of three different police departments, I'm announcing my retirement from the New Orleans Police Department today and from public service. After Mayor Landrieu was re-elected, we both recognized that the time had come after my 34 years of service and my decision to retire in 2014 that we would need to pass the reins of leadership on to the next generation. And that is something I take very serious and great pride in. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve as the police chief these last four years. Together, Mayor Landrieu and I, and the brave men and women of this police department, have laid a strong foundation for the future. Over the last several months, a professional opportunity that will allow me to contribute, continue to contribute to my life's work has become available. I will remain a proud resident of the city of New Orleans with me and my family. I will be saying later on this week what those future opportunities for me will be. But today, today is a day about the future of the New Orleans Police Department. In the last four years, we've made great strides towards creating one of the best police forces in the nation. I want to pause for a minute and have us all remember Officer Rodney Thomas and Officer John Passworth. Police work is dangerous. There is no doubt about that. Some suffer, and some suffer so much more. When Mayor Landrieu took office, the NOPD had clearly come apart. Between 2005 and 2010, the train had come off the tracks. When I became chief, I knew I had my work cut out for me. But with the support of this mayor, who I've enjoyed working with every single day, this council, the prior council, and the community at large, and the tough and honest cops, we've made a difference in rebuilding the police department. Just quick notes to think through over the last four years. We beefed up the homicide unit. We created a multi-agency gang unit, and we stand today now after 2013 and into this year with the lowest recorded numbers potentially historically in the city of New Orleans. We have made great headwork, headway with reducing murder, and that was our firing call when we took office. And that is good for the people of New Orleans. We got serious about putting the right people in jail, using summonses in lieu of arrest and focusing our attention on dangerous, violent, repeat offenders so that our officers could be in your neighborhood more. We began to change the culture of the New Orleans Police Department for the first time ever. On a first time allegation sustained of untruthfulness, you will be fired in the New Orleans Police Department. That is a cultural change that's important because proud men and women want to be around that. Most importantly, the mayor, the prior council, and this council, we've invested in the police department. Where buildings were flooded from Katrina, we now have new police district stations. Time after time, major event after major event, Super Bowl, Mardi Gras, Final Four, BCS Championship, the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department proved there are none better on the planet at managing large crowd control and helping a city host the most major sporting events that our nation and world can see. We have laid the groundwork. Our leadership is committed. I'm grateful to my family. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Chief Surpass, uh, it is a regret that uh, we see you retire today. As Chief Surpass said, he has uh, spent 34 years uh, in public service and 25 or 26 in the city of New Orleans. Uh, it's an amazing uh, statistic uh, to hear him talk about his great-great-uncle who began serving the people of the city of New Orleans in 1914 uh, with continuous service to the year 2001 until Chief Surpass returned uh, in 2010, adding another four for a total of 91 years of continued service from the Surpass family. And, uh, on behalf of a grateful city, I want to tell uh, you and your wife Jill and your beautiful daughter Allie uh, and uh, your entire family how much we appreciate that. Uh, this city and this police department is in uh, much, much better shape uh, today than it was four years ago, uh, and I thank you for your continued service. I have enjoyed working with you, uh, and I want to thank you for being with us and want to wish you well uh, in your retirement. Thank you. Thank you. As you can see standing behind me, uh, you have uh, men and women who are part of the leadership in the police department. It is the leadership of the future. When we began four years ago, uh, our task was hard, but uh, it was clear to stop the bleeding,
to turn the ship of state around and to prepare for the future, to lay the foundation uh, so that the next mayor, the next city council, uh, and the future of the people of the city of New Orleans have a chance uh, to have a great city. And so it is uh, with great joy that I announce that uh, the interim chief's position uh, will be held uh, and led by Commander Michael Harrison, who today is uh, the commander of the 7th District. Uh, Michael Harrison has 23 years of experience uh, on the police department. He was a member of the National Guard. He was part of uh, the PIB unit, and he has demonstrated exemplary leadership uh, in the 7th District as we uh, battle crime in the city of New Orleans. He is a man of great integrity. Uh, he is a man of uh, discipline, hard work, focus, uh, and his relationship with the community uh, is spectacular. So please help me welcome the new interim chief of the New Orleans Police Department, Commander Michael Harrison. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. It's an honor, and I'm extremely humbled to be appointed to lead the New Orleans Police Department during this transition. The single most important reason why I'm here today is because God has blessed me and smiled on me today. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. But I want to personally thank Mayor Landrew for this opportunity and for making safety the top priority since the beginning of his administration. I also want to thank Chief Surpass for his outstanding leadership of the department in leading us through one of the most tough times and challenging periods in the history of the NOPD, and I talked to him earlier, he's been more than just a boss and a chief to me. He's been a coach, a teacher, a mentor, a friend. Um, and for some of us who really don't have father figures, he's almost been like a father to a lot of us, especially me. Though he may not have known that, that's how I view him. So I thank you for everything. I believe policing is one of the most noble professions ever. We are on the front lines every day with incredible responsibilities and rewards. And after serving for 23 years, I'm clear that when I put this uniform on every day, my highest mission is to serve and protect. I stand ready to lead this department through its next chapter. Public safety is at the core of everything we do. It helps businesses decide whether to invest here. It helps families decide whether to move and stay here, whether to educate their children here, whether to walk and feel comfortable walking the streets of our community. So it's our opportunity to uphold the image of New Orleans from within our neighborhoods. It is our duty to also uphold the law and maintain peace and be the first responders that our citizens call upon us. New Orleans is the best city in America, and as we continue to rebuild, the police department is poised to conduct sound constitutional police work with cutting-edge technology while remaining relentless and tough towards the reduction of murder and violent crime. Through the leadership of our mayor and with the investment of the city council, the new New Orleans Police Department has better facilities, better equipment, increased training, and we're hiring. Our relationship with the community is also critical to our success. We must continue to improve the quality of life in New Orleans by working with, working for, and with the community. So over the next 30 days, I will have my ear to the ground, listening to your feedback, and looking for opportunities to build stronger relationships across the city. Mayor Landrew has made it clear, murder reduction remains a top priority. It is important to him, and it is important to me. The NOPD will continue to implement the NOLA for Life through the multimedia gang unit, multi-agency gang unit, excuse me, the street gang unit, and other community building initiatives. We will continue to leverage our relationships with our local, state, and federal partners to continue to make our city safe. As a native of New Orleans, a McDonald's number 35 alum, a husband, father, man of faith, I take on this new opportunity with the heart of service and an unwavering commitment to the security and protection of every neighborhood in this city. So I want to thank Mayor Landry again for his confidence in me, and I would like to recognize the great men and women of the police department, along with our leadership team who is with us today, who, like me, put on this uniform every day with one goal in mind, to serve 
and protect. Uh, we had suffered, the people of this community, uh, not only the effects of 9-11 uh, and the economy hitting the skids right before Hurricane Katrina, but we had Katrina, Rita, Ike, Gustav, the National Recession, and the BP oil spill. There are no more resilient people in the world than the people of the city of New Orleans. And the challenge at that time uh, when we came into office as it relates to the police department was a police department that, in fact, would have run out of money uh, in October because they overspent their budget. We had a police department uh, that had some individuals uh, that, of course, did not reflect the whole department, uh, but were under federal investigation both for the Danzinger Bridge uh, matter and the Glover matter. Uh, we had a city that was on the verge of bankruptcy. Uh, and the job that we all had to do was to stop the bleeding and then to turn the city around. Almost every decision that our team has made, either through the police department or the recreation department uh, or uh, the work that we've done on economic development, has been the same, which is to create a strong foundation to do the things that are hard, to do the things that are transformative, to do the things that are reorganizational, so that we could lay a strong foundation so that the future of the city could arrive and to open up the doors for that. Uh, and so as these things go on, uh, we all in our personal lives and professional lives make assessments uh, about timing. And it just uh, seems to me that given where the chief is uh, in his life and what his dreams are for his future and where the city is, uh, this actually falls beautifully into the strategy uh, to get, begin to develop the city for a new generation of leadership. And I believe that uh, at this time Commander Harrison represents what that looks like in partnership with all of the men and women standing behind us that have worked for the last four years to prepare themselves uh, to lead the city into the future. Right. Please read your right hand. Please sure. read the Bible. I, Michael Harrison, I, Michael Harris, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution and laws, that I will support the Constitution and laws of the United States, of the United States, the Constitution and laws of this state, the Constitution and laws of this state, and the Charter and Ordinances of this city, and the Charter and Ordinances of this city. And that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me as interim superintendent, as interim superintendent, according to the best of my ability and understanding, according to the best of my ability and understanding. So help me God. So help me God.